All right, in this ICT Basics video, I'm going to try and catch this phenomenon live, so this video might be longer than usual, um, but we're going to talk about the concept of flushing or acceleration at the end of a move. And I don't know when the market, I'm doing this one live, so I don't know when the market is going to accelerate, but I want to talk about the concept of flushing, otherwise known as popping. Um, it's basically an acceleration at the end of a move. Um, so I've talked about timing before and when the market uh, moves faster, or really it's not moving faster. That's not really what's happening. It's just when, it be, when it's in a more illiquid spot. So at the end of the move, at the end of a move, the market, especially the NASDAQ, okay, what it does is it flushes. It flushes higher and it flushes lower. Um, and you, you do not want to really reverse positions until you have the flush. So there is a flush here, there's a flush higher, there is a flush lower here. And you get those flushes before, uh, usually before a reversal, especially on the NASDAQ. So I want to catch a flush live. Um, so we'll see if we can, uh, if we can do that. You never yes I'm using fair value gaps yes that's the only model I'm using and that's good for when the market is still and it's not moving but I want to teach you to recognize what the market does when it's actually printing candles when it's live and one of the phenomenon that you're going to see in the market is is flushing flushing is an acceleration at the end of the move it's a pop through liquidity it's um, flushing. It's just a trading term. Not really ICT specific. Okay, so I don't know exactly where this move down is going to end, but I know there's liquidity below these lows. So I'm just going to highlight those. And I know that the market is drawing down below these relatively equal lows here. And I have a video on relatively equal lows, by the way. You should watch. So, market is likely to do all sorts of funkiness before we actually get down here. It has to be the right time of the day. Okay? Coming, so, we just opened up the New York PM session, 1330. The market's going to draw down. There's a couple different draws on liquidity that you should be aware of. So, number one, on the four hour chart, I'm sure that y'all recognize that right there, that pattern. That's a four hour fair value gap. Okay. The market is drawing to that. It's also drawing to these relatively equal lows. So I want to see if we can see a live example of what flushing looks like. Remember that I'm saying that the market should go through these lows. It's doing it in a pretty low resistance way though. So this right here, this second move higher, that would be a flush higher. This move down here, that was a flush lower. And you will oftentimes, prior to the market making a move, it's uh, the last, you know, the last move into what people on volume profile would call a low volume node, but basically the end of a move, it flushes. So you will hear day traders use that term flushing and I want to I want I want to 
have an example of the market doing it live so that you can see what it looks like. Although the market might just literally cleanly cut through these lows, it's possible. Um, here was a flush higher. See that? Those two candles right there, those three minute, six minute candles, that was a flush higher. These were, this was a flush higher, this was a flush lower. Something that you should be aware of. Okay. So what the market likes to do, especially in the NASDAQ, is it will start to retrace around these lows, make you think that it's not going to punch through them. But it will almost certainly those are those are juicy way too many stops down there for the market I think not to want not to want them so flushing when we see it happen live I'll point it out to you we haven't seen it yet so this video might be a little bit longer but I want to show you the phenomenon live I want you to get a feel, and this is also a feel for me, of how the market, you know, back testing and looking at a static, a static price chart is very useful, and you should do that. But you should also get a feel for like how the Nasdaq actually moves while it's moving. And this flushing phenomenon, higher or lower, happens all the time. So it's something that you should be aware of. It happens at the extremes of, of moves. There was a flush. There was a flush lower. There's a flush, flush higher. Here. Okay. There was a flush right there. You, and you even saw a flush right there. So the market's making what we call a low resistance liquidity run lower now. We haven't had a flush yet. The market, what it should do is come like this, give a candle up, and then flush lower. And I want you to see it live. It's how the market typically does it, at least the NASDAQ. market has multiple reasons to go lower. We have inefficiencies lower and we have liquidity lower. Market's got multiple reasons to want to head down there. Okay, so there we have our first three minute green candle. All right, so now we're getting a, a retracement. If you were looking at a volume profile right now, there would be a lot of volume, quote, quote unquote, in there. there. I mean, you can see it on the chart, right? There's a lot of order flow there. 
but what the market will do is it'll kind of chop, 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 flush. Chop, 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 flush. And I want you to see that flushing live, which is not usually how I do ICT Basics videos, but, you know, I'd like to show it to you as it happens. So this right here is a reversal trap. A lot of people and, and trading algorithms are going to start longing it right there just based on those two candles. And that would be a mistake. That would be a mistake to do that. So right now you can see the market is hanging. Hanging meaning that it's not moving very quickly because it's, it's in some strong order flow to the left. Okay, let's see if we can get some flushing and I can show it to you live. Flushing is not necessarily something that Michael Huddleston talks about, but you will hear day traders talk about flushing. Um, it's just a fairly common term. The draw on liquidity, though, are these lows down here. And again, let's go to a, a four-hour chart. So not only do we have those, those lows, we have this low from the past, but also notice we have a four-hour fair value gap here. So the market would want to come in into a discount on that four-hour fair, va uh, fair value gap. It could even draw lower. We could go much lower, actually, in the PM session. We could go much lower. So right now you will have people thinking to go long right here. That would be a mistake. So it's working through the order flow here to the left. Just working through that. It's just grinding through it right now. We haven't had a flush yet. And one of the, the things that I'm trying to improve on with my day trading is holding on to my positions longer. Um, I usually am just getting out of my positions too early. I'm a little bit scared. So I'm trying to learn, you know, really, really hold on to these things. Because uh, usually I'm, I'm pretty spot on in terms of my targets. Doesn't mean I'm always making money on them because, you know, I uh, have paper hands. Okay, we really haven't, that's not really a flush. We're still just working, grinding right now. That's not a flush. You'll, you'll know what a flush is when you see it. They happen at the extreme ends of moves. You could even have multiple flushes to new lows and new highs. Kind of also known as capitulations, but I pre prefer the term flushing. Okay, had our first little retracement there. 
The market's working through that order flow to the left. We're getting a little bit of flushing now. That was a little bit of flushing. But a real flush is going to be a push below these lows. So notice that as the market is working through this order flow, we're actually accelerating down. That's something that you will see on the NAS. There it is. There's a little bit of flushing right there. See that? Quick, illiquid move. Attacking these lows, that's flushing. Okay. The market might try and pretend like it's going to do a little retracement before we flush lower. Okay. Coming up on these prior lows. Now, now you're seeing flushing. See, that's flushing right there. So you saw grinding through some order flow and then a flush lower. Pretty low resistance, by the way. So this is fun. It's exhilarating. Uh, but this is flushing. You're seeing it happen. So this candle right here, that's a flush lower. And now you actually expect that the market should accelerate even lower. You don't expect reversals right after this, guys. You actually expect the market to chop and then accelerate flush more. Something that new day traders, and, and myself included, you see too many reversals everywhere, and the market moves a lot further than you think. You actually should, like, the lower it goes, the lower that you expect it will continue to go. Down begets down, and up begets up in, in, in the short term. Okay, so now, now the market's going to do a little bit of hanging in front of these lows, just a little bit. It's a little bit of a reversal trap, making you think it's not going to flush. We got, we got our first flush there. We should get a second flush that takes us much lower, like 20 points. 20 points from here would be uh, 14,850. I think it's just going to flush right through my order. So I wanted to show you this flushing live when I was pretty confident, you know, the market should punch through these, no problem. Okay, you might even see a green candle and then a flush lower. So now notice that the market's hanging a little bit, just hanging a little bit. Okay, might even get a green candle, could even get a big green candle and then a flush lower. So we got our first flush right here. All right, you saw that happen live and now you can see the market slowing down. It's, it's having a little bit of difficulty getting through the, this remainder of this order flow right here, but it should, it should flush through that. Okay. So you can see the market has slowed down its speed. The mark to markets have slowed down. Let's see if we can get some more flushing to happen live. Be a good video for a case study. Always trying to learn and improve your day trading. Okay, so we're still hanging. Now the market is not just going to grind slowly through these lows, more likely than not. It will just flush aggressively. And so watch, see if we get that. Okay, we're still just hanging right on these lows. Just hanging. This is hanging. Call this hanging. Grinding. Slow motion. You'll know what flushing looks like when we get it. This looks like this candle. Just again. This candle could end up being green, by the way. Wouldn't be surprised if this were a green candle and then we flush lower. There's liquidity below these lows. There's stop orders. 
there's also an inefficiency for that four hour inefficiency that needs to be offered back to the cell set. Okay, this would be a long trap right here. This is a buyer's trap. You do not want to buy this. You, you do not want to buy this before a flush. That would be a big mistake, like a 50 point mistake. You get in real bad trouble if you long this right here. This is the market flashing green on you, right? Right at some prior lows, flashing green, support and resistance, no. And be very careful when the market does this. This is hanging or flashing green. Your first instinct for the market should not be that it will reverse its direction. Your first instinct should be that it will, it will continue its direction. That's, the, that's what your first sort of instinct should be. Okay, we got a doji candle. A spinning top doji. All right, we're still hanging there. The market, you notice it's not going too far away from these lows. It's just hanging there. You get anxious right now. You think that the market's going to reverse. You know, you get anxious. You don't want to reverse on the NASDAQ before a flush. Do not. And we haven't, we've only had one flush here, and we're probably going to get three or four. Yeah, so if the market is already dumping this hard coming in just to the first 30 minutes of the PM session, we could end up going much lower. And on my top step account, this is my live account, on my top step account I have an order down at 823 spot 75. Okay, we're still hanging there. Market's making you think, oh, maybe a reversal here, right? It's going to flash some green at you. Maybe a reversal. Not before a flush. Not before a flush. That would be a mistake. Okay, 13.50. Coming into the last two hours of regular trading hours. Notice that they're hanging it right on these lows. They're trapping a lot of traders in the wrong direction right now. Could even trade all the way up to uh, 882. Could trade all the way up here and then flush aggressively lower. Got to allow for some variance. Flushing is a phenomenon that happens at the end of a move, at, a, at the extreme. You grind through the middle and you flush through the bottom and top. I hope that makes sense. Again, it's tra this is trapping novice traders into, into making them think, oh, that looks kind of like a reversal, huh? For five points, maybe, ten points. You need to already be out. If you had like a scalp right there, you need to already be gone.
Kind of looks like what it did earlier. Could get some two pretty aggressive looking green candles and then a big flush lower. I want to catch that live so I have a video on it. And you can see it live. This is a trap right here. You do not want to long this. Do not want to long that. That would be a big mistake. You know, if you can even imagine it, this candle right here looks like a big green hammer candle, right? That was a flush lower. One point that flushed a lot lower. Okay, we're coming up to the top of the hour in the last two hours of the of the New York Stock Exchange trading. Okay, now again it's making you think, ooh, reversal, right? Big time reversal. I mean we're up sixty one, we're up twenty points. And that's actually a trade right there. Yeah, you could have taken that trade. But uh, wouldn't count on this reversing right at the lows on the third, the third attempt. Alright, so a little short term inefficiency there. Three minute sell set imbalance buy set inefficiency that we traded back up almost almost ticked into it. It's gonna end up being a long video. Did not intend on this necessarily being such a long video. And so now, notice the market's making you think, oh, triple bottom, huh? Triple bottom, right? Ooh. Looks like strong support, right? Now, if you've been day trading for a while, you know what happens to these formations. Let's see if we can see some flushing happen live when we can make that a video. Yeah, now it's really making you think, oh, it's going to reverse, right? It's really making you think that. But if you're like me and you're too quick on the trigger, oh, you might long this. It'd be a big mistake. Okay, coming up on the last two hours of trading. Market's still making you think, oh, it's going to triple bottom. It's going to reverse, right? 
I'm just waiting for that uh, flush lower to come in so we can see that phenomenon live. We already saw one example of it. I want to see if we can get two flushes lower. Same video so you can see what that phenomenon looks like. And I can have it on recording as well. Okay, so you can see that we're at the bottom of that order flow, so we're just grinding right now. A flush is, is a quick and violent movement. The end of a move. A move might need to a move higher or lower might need to flush three, four, five times before it reverses. If only we really had one here. Okay, now you're seeing a little bit of heaviness. Market's not really showing that willingness to stick up here. See a little bit of heaviness right now. You could even short this, believe it or not. You could absolutely just enter a short at the market right here. It'd be dangerous, but you could do it. Okay, coming up on the top of the hour. Market's showing some heaviness now. Oh, oh it's, it's still chopping. We're still hanging down here near the lows. I'm waiting for another flush lower, which I believe that we will get. I mean, I don't control the market, but I can tell you that it usually happens. It's not really showing a, a huge willingness to want to stay higher. And you're missing out on points if you don't wait for flushes, guys. You're just you're missing out on a lot of points. Quick points. They happen very fast. And if I if I were to close this position right now, I'd be I'd be missing out on like 30 points. From this from right here, I'd be missing out on 30 points if I closed it right now. And that's uh, 120 ticks. So it's a lot. Okay, now we're at the new hour, in the final two hours of trading. If you don't wait for the market to flush, you're missing out on a lot of points. If, especially if you're in a good position. You do not want to miss out on those points. You need all the points you can get to make your money. So the market, when it's at an extreme point like this, it should flush lower. And we should be able to watch that live. So you don't want to get scared and just throw out your position right here. The market didn't come all this way just to reverse right at the bottom. Okay. And we're getting that little bit of heaviness come in. Leaving that sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency above price. We currently have that open, which is a good sign. We've actually got multiple open. Which is a good sign of the immediate term. Two hours left of trading. Is it flush yet? <laughs> I 
not seen a good flush yet, but I believe it's coming soon. This is not how reversals form. So you know that's not what market reversals look like. That's too clean. Reversals are dirty. They're like this. They're dirty. They're scary. They have you on the edge of your seat. That's what a reversal looks like. It's dirty. It's not just a clean go down and come right back up usually. It's not how reversals look. Okay, I think I think we might get a flush here pretty quick. We're seeing a little bit of heaviness in the market. Could get that flush lower here pretty quick. And you'll see when you have the draw and liquidity correct. We have liquidity and we have inefficiencies lower down in the 850s. We're just hanging around these lows. We have not flushed yet. And the NASDAQ flushes before it reverses the vast majority of the time. And it's not done that. It's kind of a almost a prerequisite for the NASDAQ to make a real reversal. So we wait. And that last 20 points, you know, the market does not move symmetrically. It doesn't just grind usually, you know, a slow, steady pace. It, it moves asymmetrically. So it can take a long way to make it halfway there, a long time, and then a very short time to make it the final portion of, to the destination. Okay, might be getting it now. All right, we're pushing lower. Let's see if we get a good flush. Okay, accelerating. Oh, still teasing you. It's not really a good flush yet. It's still hanging. Okay, now we're pushing. Oh, there it is. There's a little bit of a flush right there. A little more. A little more aggressively coming lower. A little more aggressively. There it is. Starting to flush now. Want to see it really aggressively flush lower. There it is. There it is. Bang, bang. Okay, that right there, that was a flush. And it could continue flushing as well. Um, so I wanted to, to show you that phenomenon as it happened live. Um, I'll show you the executions short up here, covered here. I've, I've, I've been kind of break-even trading at a small loss, but that was... 100 point trade. So that was an example of the NASDAQ flushing, and it could continue to flush lower. That was our second flush lower. But I wanted y'all to see what flushing looks like live. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's just a good example of seeing what flushing looks like, and you need to see that really, guys, before you expect the market to reverse, especially the NASDAQ, you want to see that flushing. You see it all over the place. You, sometimes you'll see multiple, whether it's higher, whether it's lower. You want to see that flushing before you even think about reversing. Okay. Um, you see it here. See multiple flushes lower before the market reversed here. You know, that's just what it does. The NASDAQ flushed higher here, flush lower here. I mean, it's just what it does, guys. It flushes before it reverses the vast majority of the time. So it's something that you should be aware of. Um, don't count on a reversal unless you get a unless you get that flush lower, flush higher. Okay, guys, in this ICT Basics video, we covered the concept of flushing. Bye bye. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll let this run over to exactly 40 minutes even.